Hey everybody, this is Joey from the future. And uh, I'm editing the video for today that's supposed to go up in like an hour and a half. And uh, the audio is really bad. The audio is not great. Uh, I fixed some of the noise in the background, but there's a slight hum and there's a baby crying for a little bit of it. So if you're not a fan of bad audio, skip this one. It's totally okay. But if you don't mind, listen to it anyways, because it's a good episode about Oppenheimer. Uh, okay, back to the show. Oh, <laughs> it went to the water. The water doesn't work. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Sooner or Later podcast. Actually, your mic is hot now that I think about it, Eric. The timer started, too. Oh, no. I'll turn it off. That's fine. Uh, I am Become Death, and this is uh, the review of Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer was written and directed by Christopher Nolan, based on American Prometheus by, Cal Bur- by Kai Bird and Martin J. Sherwin. Uh, cinematography by Hoyt Van Hoytema. Hmm. Last scene in the reviews, I'm pretty sure, of uh, Nope. Hmm. I don't think we've seen another movie he's cinematographied. Uh, edited by Jennifer Lame. Music by Ludwig Gorenson. Production companies were uh, Syncope, Inc. and Atlas Entertainment. Distributed by Universal Pictures with release dates of July 11, 2023 at Le Grand Rex. July 21st, uh, 2023 in the United States and United Kingdom. Uh, Oppenheimer has a runtime of 180 minutes and a budget of $100 million. And as of July 29th, 2023, it has made $266 million in the worldwide box office. Uh, Oppenheimer is sitting at a 94% on the tomato meter with 408 reviews and a 92% audience score with 5,000 5, verified ratings. Uh, with a Metacritic score of 88, oh my god, I got an ad. Oh, I hate to see it. I got an ad with a Metacritic score of 88 from 68 reviews and a 9.0 user score from 672 ratings. But the only people whose opinions truly matter are ours, and you're getting 10 minutes of spoiler free starting now. Bro, I heard everything in this movie is crazy. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've heard everything in a Christopher Nolan film. I mean, the movie starts, so I was like, oh, this movie's going to be loud, too. <laughs> like, I was like, this movie's just loud. Oh, Cause boy. It, yeah, it does start with did the you, rumbling. Did you yeah. see it in the bigger format? Yeah, or no? yeah, yeah. Oh, so, like, yeah, the, okay. whatever their thing is, like, just, like, about the same size as IMAX, like, regular yeah. IMAX. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the movie is loud, but at least, though, like, the talking points are there. Like, he's not loud over talking the way he is in some of his other films. So, I I think the only... For the first hour of this three-hour-long movie, I was like, the soundtrack is way too fucking loud. Mm. The music is... What up, baby? What? No, really? What part of fucking text me did you not get? I don't understand. Um, yeah, the soundtrack for the first hour, too loud. And then after that... I could hear everything. And I was like, oh my god, I could hear these people talking. This shit's crazy. But, like, yeah, he doesn't know how to make a movie, though, that doesn't have points where you can't hear or it's, yeah. like, too loud. Like, the, the sound is always just too elevated at certain but, points in his movies. I don't really think that matters, man. Like, so what if you can barely hear shit? It's cool. It looks cool. It <laughs> takes you out of the movie when you're but, just like, damn, this is loud. And then you're but, like, shit, what'd he say? But the art, it can only look so cool. Until something is uh, uh, um, working against it. Like, sure, it looks cool, but if two motherfuckers with mouths are out there speaking a language that I can understand, I, f- I should be able to hear the shit. Mm. Unless, unless there's a theatrical reason why I shouldn't be able to hear it. You know, like in points in movies when, like, a bomb goes off mm-hmm. and then, like, somebody's hearing is impaired and then I can't hear two people speaking. That is a thematic, like, that's a reason okay, in the yeah. movie why I can't hear it. But if the only reason I can't hear two people having a conversation is because you told Ludwig to turn the music up, not a good fucking reason for me to not be able yeah. to hear two people talking. So, like, the points where he's having, like, eternal struggle or whatever, like, right. like that's fine because he's, like, disoriented. So, like, it's loud. You know, you're, you're, you're supposed to be disoriented as well. There's times where you're not supposed to be disoriented in his movie sometimes, and you're like, this person is totally sound of mind. There ain't nothing going on. 
and then yet I still don't know what he's saying. Like, like uh, I guess the issue with like something like Dunkirk is like, okay, I understand because you're <laughs> yeah. like in planes, you're on boats, it's loud. The problem is at some point you got to be like, okay, I understand like having it feel like, you know, like I'm in there. I'm but at some shit. point in time, it's like I need to actually like just be at a movie. <laughs> like I don't need to be in a fucking uh, See, yeah. airplane. I never, I never saw Dunkirk. And the only issue I had with Tenet was... The b- random boat scene where he's trying to talk with old boy. Dunkirk, I think, is worse than Tenet. Yeah, so think of that in- scene, all of Dunkirk. <laughs> yeah, infinitely worse than Tenet with, yeah. with sound mixing. And, then, like, and I, think, I think Tenet got so much shit because it was the second time he had done that shit. Mm-hmm. Where he just made a movie that was completely... You, you can't understand it. Yeah, but Dunkirk also got a little bit of a pass because, one, you get someone like Tom Hardy you can't hear him anyways. Yeah, the dude don't know how to <laughs> yeah. fucking enunciate. But two, it's like, okay, it's more like uh, the whole time you're literally like... Well, at least not the whole time, but most of the movie you're in a situation where like I can understand like uh, theatrically and just like you know as an artist why he did it. Like There was no need sometimes in Tenet. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh-huh. It was just like... I'm gonna do this because I think it sounds cool, or because I'm deaf and yeah, it. yeah. But I think this movie was better about it. Yeah, yeah. Other than I, that yeah, first hour, I had no problems. I, I even have a problem with the soundtrack. I'm telling you, bro. That first hour, at some points, especially when he was like finally becoming a professor or whatever, there were some points when the score was just swelling too much. And I'm like, I can't fucking hear what he's saying yeah, to but these he's people. Not really, he's not really saying anything important, man. You're just then why show it? Why have him say anything? Why have him <laughs> say anything? Yeah. Just if it's a montage, sh- do a montage, but don't fucking do a montage and then also have him faintly speaking mm-hmm. into it. That's my only problem with it. But I think that just like, I the first like thirty minutes specifically, I'm like. Bro, God, just, this just is another the, loud movie. I mean, <laughs> like, the atom spinning thing mm-hmm. in the IMAX theater we saw it in was fucking. I was yeah. like, oh my god, that atom. Dude, uh. if you thought that was bad, in actual Dolby with those speakers in the seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it crazy? It was wild. <laughs> like I, I legit was uncomfortable at one point. <laughs> Cause I was like, bro, I'm about to like <laughs> vomit. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> he's gonna shake the hot dog out of the 4D theater. <laughs> I think, um, I mean, there was probably two moments where the sound was like that in the IMAX, the IMAX showing that we went to, where the sound was so overwhelming that I was like, I don't feel very good right now. <laughs> this is a lot. This is, yeah. but I mean, like, you know, it's supposed to be him, like, also having panic attacks or whatever. So it's like, mm-hmm. oh, well, it's working because I'm yeah. also having a panic attack. <laughs> I, I think the issue, though, too, is like, because this movie does start off loud. But he's already done it a little too much. So it like it's like if you don't if this is the only movie you ever see by him, or at least the only like loud movie you see by him, it's fine. Once you're three movies deep in it, you're like, damn, he's doing it again. Like and it takes you out of the movie. Like, don't take me out of the movie by like being too stylistic. I don't know. I think I, this this put me on a better note with him because it's a step in the right direction. Yeah, I've seen people say that, like, he took everything he's learned. It's like this is the culmination of of all his films. I think the next one will be that. Next one? Because the next one, we won't have no audio the, issues. Uh, I think the there won't be no audio. It's going to be a silent film. <laughs> yeah. Except <laughs> the music will be too loud. Yeah. The JFK movie he's going to make. Oh, yeah. dude, it'd be wild. Oh, could the you imagine? Teller movie, like. The Teller movie. The Teller movie. Oh, that'd be great. I need him to do actual conspiracies. He needs to make a flat earth movie. <laughs> no. That'd be crazy. <laughs> dude, do a 9 11 movie. Oh, oh that'd be dude. controversial. Oh, yeah. he shows the steel beam smelting. Dude, he's gonna actually crash a plane. He, into he the- is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if he made an atom bomb for this movie, what? No, he, what did he actually make for it? Wasn't it just a scale explosion that looked exactly like an atom he bomb? He hasn't said anything. All the interviews I've watched, he's like, oh, I'm not going to tell my no, secret. No, I think it recently just came out. Someone said kind of something about it. I didn't read it, though. So, like, there might be some kind of idea what he did. Mm-hmm. I don't think, like, yeah, like, they don't know, like, totally Explicitly, what he did. Explicitly, yeah. But, yeah, there's, like, some ideas or, like, some stuff that's leaked out on what he did. So, what was it? I don't know. I didn't read it. Oh, <laughs> I started with. I, I heard about. It, I didn't read it. So, I, okay. Let, uh, I assumed I, it was like knowledge known that he had done it. Like he had given the information already. So, like, I didn't really care about it. I didn't know it was a secret. Oh, I mean, I didn't know he was being cagey about it either. I thought he had already talked about. If I knew shit. he was, if it was a secret, I would look more into yeah. it. <laughs> I, I saw three interviews. He didn't say. Damn, he a bitch. I heard that he likes uh, DVDs more than Blu-rays. <laughs> Shut the Get fuck out of here. No, for real. Yeah, he, he con- uh, so he compared it to like um, 
I don't know records like, and like stuff because he's like duh, it's, it, he likes like the the graininess of stuff like that. He doesn't like stuff being like too like perfect. This fucking cuck watches VHSs for fun and shit. Yeah, He's he likes like, the art of the VHS. I guess. Like, I mean, VHS but, I can understand, but like DVD is just like shitty for the sake yeah. of being shitty. Yeah, that makes no sense though because he explicitly says they're like Nolan, why did you use seventy millimeter for this? He's like, I think that seventy mm, seventy seventy millimeter offers the highest fidelity. But then he watches DVDs. The highest yeah. fidelity for a DVD cut. But the thing is, like, he does that because no one else is doing it. Probably. Yeah, like, yeah, and he knows yeah. no one else will do it, <laughs> and also no one else will be allowed to do it. Like him, maybe what Tarantino? Like who? Who else would be? Because like they're not gonna, they're not gonna do that. They're gonna be like, hey, you're gonna use what we got, and we're also gonna tell you what or we're nothing. doing. <laughs> yeah. But like he can get anybody, he can do anything. He literally because made he black miss. and white film for this. Yeah, he brought it yeah, back. Yeah, which is wild. <laughs> but thing like, because when you don't miss though, you're allowed to do whatever you want. Like, and he can like, especially like the he he has like five Oscar award winning actors and actresses that show up for five minutes. Like he can get and do whatever he wants. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Um, I mean, I, what the fuck was I gonna say? So we have a minute left. The acting's phenomenal. Nobody does a bad job. Dude, Killian Murphy, man. <sighs> Can Something we talk else. about Benny Safdie doing another accent? Yeah, what's up with that? It, nailing it what again, you, what, what though. Do you but mean? I, I mean, <laughs> but he's so good at it. Yeah, but you know, does he not want to be himself? Like, no, why does he always be, gotta be someone else? Dude, why, why be yourself if you could be somebody else, though? Yeah, that sounds like someone that got I some mean, mental health problems. No, what do you mean? Look at uh, who the fuck? Who the fuck was Truman? What's oh, uh, uh, Bale? No, it oh, was Truman? Uh, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Yeah. Gary Oldman's a different guy in every fucking movie. You don't say nothing to him. I do say stuff to him. I'm <laughs> like, bro, you're too method. Chill. <laughs> no, did you hear that? Like, ki- oh man, we got 30 seconds. Killian Murphy was apparently nobody addressed him as Killian. Oh really? He was Robert or Oppenheimer. Okay. Too method. Too method, bro. Yeah, yeah. They they had an ice cream person there, and he didn't even eat the ice cream because he was on too strict of a diet. Oh, I heard he, like, ate almonds for, like, a long time or something. His dinner was an almond, and if he was treating himself, a slice of an orange. He lost a lot of weight, though. He lost a lot of weight. Bro, it's not even worth it, because his face don't even look like the guy. Nah, but he looked cool. (laughs) He didn't look cool. Hold on. Nobody that thin looks cool. All right. That's spoilers. So, on the count of three, we're going to give thumbs up, thumbs down on whether or not you should see Oppenheimer. Three, two, one. One. That's two thumbs up I'm for me, brother. I'm giving a strong two thumbs Dames? up. I'll give it one. I'll give it one. Damn. <laughs> All right, so out of a possible six six thumbs up, you got five thumbs up that you should go see Oppenheimer. And then you should build an atom bomb <laughs> and drop it on the subscribe button. And then build another atom bomb and drop it on a different button, a l- close to the first button, but just to the right of it. So drop it on that notification button. And then when you're done with that, build a hydrogen bomb. Don't drop it, but click the button in the top. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Now I got to work in three dimensions. In the top right-hand corner, if you want to see our spoiler full thoughts of Oppenheimer. We love you guys. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.